tell you something else I've been watching on the TV is um, we've been watching the, uh, the Paralympics. <laughs> <laughs> How did it feel? Yeah, good, good. Yeah, that was, it was scary. It was scary at first. It wasn't what I was expecting. Heart starts beating, I'm just like thump, 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 thump. And then as soon as I put my drink down, turned around, just went, oh, it's real. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Big Rog. I'm Big Rog, and I think you know why. <laughs> I've recently come out on parole. I know what you were thinking. Talk to you later. I've never had one of these. This is a. Uh, Shut up, I'm not gonna fuck you pouring a drink. Yeah. Well. Are you excited about tonight, Michelle? Please. Please. I was answering questions like that. Am I excited about tonight? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm very excited. Can you please tell us about why we're back at the Shamrock? Mm -hmm. Why are we back at the Shamrock? Because they're very accommodating. They let you piss in the fireplace. It's one thing to like do sets in the city or go to open mics or be do a good set in front of a city crowd, but to go out into the country for three hours, driving and meeting a bunch of random people that have a different set of views and then they enjoy what you do was a big part of the step for me last year. So I'm just excited to be back here, drinking Prosecco and having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do everything. I'm drinking Prosecco. Oh, well. You can turn that volume down a little bit. <laughs> What's the judgment? Isn't that a real man's drink? Yes. Have you ever drank two Proseccos in a row? You're anybody's. Like that's a man's job right there, isn't it? Yeah. Wrong crowd, all right, fair. <laughs> Who's this poofta? Fucking Jesus. What, are you drinking Prosecco? Who's a real man? Give us a yell. All right, drink a bottle of, drink a bottle of Prosecco and tell me I can't put my finger in your butt. Can't Do it. That's a real man right there. Still no. But fuck, I feel good. <laughs> I'm excited because um, I felt like that, the, that this show last year was the first show that I felt like we were comedians and we got treated so well we got our own rooms um, after the show they put out all these pizzas and beers and drinks and everyone was like just excited to hang out and um, it just kind of like signifies to me that a year ago is like the time that we were like, Shit, we can actually do this. I'm probably ranting a little bit too much. I've had a tough week, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it's been tough, man. I think there's almost too much information on the internet these days, you know? I think maybe that's one of our problems. There's almost too much information, dude. I was on the internet the other day. I was trying to find a recipe for cupcakes. Bro, I came out of there believing the moon landing was a complete hoax. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Have you seen it? Have you watched that stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Bruh. This is my question, right? Why, in 1969, were they able to stream back the moon landing live to every television station in the world? In black and white. But it's 2021 and I can't get three bars in green bushes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you up there now? Yeah, and the dude is doing the mic. You were only here last time, eh? I know. Yeah, it's we saw you last time. There's a photo of me and me. Matt, what was your name again? Hey, it's me and Hi, man. And Tim. So what's going on here? We've got the one. We've raced all night. Tim? Yeah. You know, we were talking today about the Western Australian Off Road Racing Association. Yeah. These guys race lawnmowers. Personally, I love Rog. I thought Rog was fantastic. Let's get a big The local Larrikin, what do you reckon? I was catching up with Roger and Steve out at the bar out there. They've got a little picture up there. You might want to see it. It's going to sell on eBay for about $7.60. <laughs> Two of them in a lawnmower. Have you seen this? The boys are racing lawnmowers. Steve's in there. He was telling me before, he said he left his fucking helmet near the fireplace. It just melted completely. <laughs> The irony was he said it still fucking fitted.
<laughs> yeah. We've had our local larrikin for the day, thank you. We gave one spot, you could have done it. But I like that you're on board. Yeah. When I told the first joke about the, the arthritis and Parkinson's, I was like, oh, I know it's not the best joke, but I've got to warm them up with something, and I was just like, oh, no, I hope, I hope they like the rest of them. <laughs> then they kicked my ass, beat the piss out of me. It was pretty bad. I was in hospital for a few days. Phone rings. She says, this is my mother. She goes, can you talk? I said, how do you think this was going to work? <laughs> she says, Roger, it's your father. I said, fuck off, mum. That's the worst impersonation I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, I've got a couple of new ones tonight. I always do that for, for you lads. Going to have a crack at uh, just a little bit of Paralympics there. Just having a laugh last, last time you and I caught up. So, And tell us about how that came about because that's you and me well right? you and i were in waging and um you know it's, as we were saying the pc stuff i was watching you know the i think they're happy with the term little people and um i think they're magnificent i didn't know they were <laughs> paralympians but i've never treated them like anything else but normal people just a little shorter it wasn't very PC. I am PC at 50. I, I do my best. I try my best. I mean, at home, we don't even, we play chess. We don't even move the white, white piece first. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> privilege thing that is. You know, my son Travis even cut a little notch out on the, on the, on the left-hand side of the black pawns. It looks like they're taking a knee. That's where we're at. That's where we're at. Certain things you can't say no more. These days, I don't know if you know this, uh, it's very important, you can't call them retardeds no more. <laughs> Did you know that? Now the proper term is feminists. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a woke comedian, I gotta help you guys understand this. I am terrible. I feel like you're getting worse at comedy as the years go I'm on. I'm not getting worse at comedy. I'm getting worse at your stupid interviews, god damn it. <laughs> think I'm a goddamn puppet. Uh, you think I'm a circus animal. You know, shit yourself that you didn't do any comedy last week? Uh, no, not really. The only thing I'm shit myself about is this material that I keep testing. I haven't been able to test in front of an audience that's big enough. Uh, so I've just put it, it's material I've used before, but I've put it in a different order and had to memorize that order and I gotta make sure it's gonna go smoothly and I'm gonna find out tonight if it goes smoothly and if it doesn't, I'm gonna have to bail on it part way through and do stuff that I know really, really works. Then I'll have to go back to it and that'll just make my set longer. Yeah, we got, I got in a lot of trouble with my missus a few years back. You know, being a redneck and whatnot, I got in a lot of trouble for having sex with her sister. I still to this day don't know what the problem is. She my sister too. <laughs> I like that too. 